Hi everyone, my name is Nagasaki and today I'm going to introduce you to my newest feature for FL Studio users, the Ram and Breaks glitch machine. First of all, I'm going to explain you how to install it because it's not really a plugin, but a preset for a native FL Studio plugin patcher, which is probably one of my favorite plugins because it allows you to create a lot of combinations between generated plugins and effects. Then, once everything will be installed, I will show you how it works. So let's say you've bought, downloaded and exported the glitch machine point zip. You will have the glitch machine folder, the main folder with the presets, one step-by-step -step installation tutorial and a readme text file. So we're just gonna focus ourselves on the glitch machine folder with the preset. And as you can see, there are two different presets, which are actually the same. But the first one is for FL Studio 12 and the second one for FL Studio 20. So what, what you can do is just open FL Studio and drag and drop the second one for FL Studio 20 on the master. Then go to plugin database, go to effects, right click on effects and open it. And then what you can do is right click and create a new folder which will be named Ramen Rex Glitch Machine. Okay, and as you can see here on Apple Studio there is a new folder created. Just select the new folder and then on the glitch machine, hit this arrow at the top and add to plugin database flag as favorite. Click on OK. Open the folder RAM and breaks and rename the patcher into RAM and breaks glitch machine. You've just installed the glitch machine on your FL Studio. Go to your plugin browser. You will see the folder from and breaks glitch machine and the glitch machine. So now this is installed. Let's play with it and activate it. Click on I understand and I will not distribute our cell to activate the glitch machine. And then, as you can see, there is some knobs. The glitch machine is a kind of multi FX like a loop erator, effect tricks, but it's a little bit different. There is three big knobs which are the main feature of the glitch machine. One distortion. Uh, section, one miscellaneous section, and one reverb. Pretty basic. Let's check how does it sound. I just drag an event break and an alcohol kick to see how does it sound. Without the glitch machine, and the alcohol kick. So, let's check for the amen break and play a little bit with those knobs. Yeah, like this to begin with. Yeah, as you can hear, it's rearranging a lot the sample. And you can combine the first knob to the second, to the third, and to everything else after.
that's interesting. Randomness part is this part, actually. We can try with the repeater. Something like this. And here the pan vault and pan base are a little bit tricky, but you will see. You will have to place those knobs at the opposite every time. So I mean full left, full right. If it's not full left or full right, you will see it's going to the middle and to the left or to the right. It's a little bit disturbing let's try with this hardcore kick it's really interesting to use the glitch machine to create this kind of kick effects or different pattern The glitch machine is really interesting to create glitchy background elements. It's really useful to add some texture and to add some room to your sound with some reverb. Yeah, I think that's it. So you will find the Ramen Breaks glitch machine on Prototype Records website in the shop. And if you have any question, just leave a comment and we'll try to, to answer. I think that's all for this first Ramen Breaks walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow us on every social media and see you soon.